Hi guys, I'm Phil. So today, I'm gonna show you how to do mathematical induction, which n is equal to 1, n is equal to k, and k is equal to k plus 1. So if you don't know how to do mathematical induction, then you are in the right place. Let me show you how. So given the formula, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus dot 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 plus n equals to n times the quantity of n plus 1 all over 2. So step number 1, n is equal to 1. Let's always remember that in mind. n is equal to 1 is step number 1. Step number 1 is n equals to 1. So in this step, we just need to substitute n to 1. So, in order to get the first term, which is 1. So, 1 is equal to n times the quantity of n plus 1 over 2, which 1 is the first term in this series. So, we just, we just need to substitute n with 1. So, 1 times the quantity of 1 plus 1 all over 2, which is 1 times 2 all over 2, 2 over 2 which is equal to 1. So as you can see, um, the answer in the equation is equal to the first term in the series. And now we can proceed to the, to the next step. Step number 2 is the easiest step in the three step I will be discussing about mathematical induction. We just need to change n with k. So just need to copy this term, then change n with k. So step number three, we need to change k with k plus one. Um, this is the hardest uh, part of mathematical induction, which needs critical thinking and some mathematical uh, abilities. which is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus dot dot plus plus k is equal to k times the quantity of k plus 1 all over 2. So we just need to substitute k with k plus 1 um, in this step. So first we need to copy this term as you can see then plus k plus k plus 1 is equal to change k to k plus 1, k plus 1 times the quantity of k plus 1, plus 1, all over 2. So, um, you may be asking why I just copy k and add k plus 1 and not change k to k plus 1. Because the reason behind is we need to um, add up this term, then add another term higher than the unknown term, so we need to add 1 on it and change all k to k plus 1 on the equation. Next, we need to change this equation 1 plus k plus k plus 1 plus 1 plus plus k, which is also equal to k times the quantity of k plus 1 all over 2. So first we need to Copy this, as you can see, we already copied it, and put this um, equation here. So this equation is equal to this equation. As you can see, the upper equation is equal to the last equation in the previous slide and um, on the right side, we need to add 1 and 1 which is equal to 2 because they are um, inside of the same quantity. Then, in the, in the left side, we need to add this term with this term so we need to get their LCD, which is a 2, 
multiplied this with um, multiply this with two. So which came up with k then we want to get k plus one plus two times k uh, times quantity of k plus one all over two. Um, on the right side we don't need to have a uh, manipulation or stops to do for while on the other side we need to manipulate it in order to have the same look or to be equal on the other side then next step is to copy the um, the right side then on the left side we need to multiply k by k and k by 1 then we need to multiply 2 by k and 2 by 1 which k comes up with k squared plus k plus 2k plus 2 all over 2 and next equation um, we need again to copy the right side and then um, as you can see here we have two the same um, numerical, numerical coefficient and variable so we need we can add this by which which is which results to k squared plus two k plus two all over two So that's all for today's video guys. I hope this video helps you to understand better about mathematical induction. I know that calculus is hard but you don't need to like math. But you can like my videos. So if you did, please click like and subscribe.